love for you to put in the comment section below because right now we are talking about we'll be talking about domain knowledge in this video so does domain knowledge actually trump technical skills or does technical skills trump domain knowledge as a data analyst or whatever career you find yourself in hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel and if you're just stopping by you're most definitely welcome in this channel i talk a lot about starting a career in data analytics relevant skills projects certifications that you need to have as a newbie trying to explore this space as a data analyst so today i'm going to be talking about another skill so now in this context i'm talking about a skill that is more broad and not just specific to a career as a data analyst and that's the skill called domain expertise right and now i'm going to break this down in more context moving on in this video so before i go on if you haven't watched the previous video you should you should run and go and watch it because in i literally explained five most relevant skills you need to have as a data analyst and i see a lot of you guys comments and i'm quite pleased that most of you actually do resonate with what i'm talking about i'm going to be talking about domain expertise as a very important skill here in the space of data analytics now domain expertise is literally um in the most basic term refers to more like uh, the knowledge gained based on a particular industry or based on a particular business domain so for example what i mean is if you work in a tech if you work in the finance space for example there are many things that go in there talk about transactions talk about um cost your customers understand your customers right even if you do have a product as well too you also need to understand how your products serve your customers also in the case of let me say in the supply chain space for example there are specific unique domain expertise that every one person needs to get whether you're working in technical field or non-technical field you can also apply the same domain knowledge across different relevant career spaces too i believe it's cut across every different field whether being a data analyst whether being a software engineer now let's understand why this is actually very important for example back in my home country nigeria for every one person or new graduates who apply to a job and do get into a job so now i'm going to use the context of a bank because most banks actually do recruit with um, young graduates when they do come in as a new employee to the bank they go through a series of immersive training as relates to the job sometimes they do something called a rotational program where they shadow the different business units just to understand what each of the different business unit does as it relates to the business and also your individual job and we can see that this is important because for you working in the bank or in whatever space you find yourself in you need to understand how each of these individual business units work together as not just as one entity but together as a whole so that you're able to know how to even relate to your client you're able to understand how to relate to your customers or your, even your stakeholders and you're also able to understand how it also relates to you on the job as well too as individuals so now i'm going to go on to further break down why this is also very important so domain expertise is one skill that may be overlooked but shouldn't be overlooked domain expertise is one where you can literally also elevate in terms of your career so for example you're a newbie here you want to learn or you want to understand or you want to even get into the space of data analytics but you feel like you need to literally leave your job to go into another job let's start with where you are currently how can you apply your analytical skill set into your current role now with the domain expertise you do have in your space or in your company you can then decide to apply whatever analytical knowledge you do have on the job from there who knows you can actually upskill yourself and get better at what you do and then you find yourself working in the analytical space so most times even get into data analytics space you don't need to move to another company you can literally start from where you are and then start by applying what you've learned or whatever analytical knowledge you've learned or whatever analytical language you understand or tool and technology you, you know how to use and then apply it on your day-to-day -day job and see how you grow and progress in your career so this just lets you know that you really do not always have to leave your current company to apply to another role outside of your company and most times when people do this they literally move from a higher a senior role in their current company to a junior data analyst role in another company whereas you can literally get the same experience in your current company so this is one reason why 
domain expertise is actually very important as a data analyst or any career you find yourself in. Secondly, another reason why domain knowledge is actually very important in your career as data analyst is because you're able to apply this knowledge while working on reports. So let me just explain to you what I literally mean, right? For example, you're working on a project and in this project you have some dimensions, you have some measures to also calculate. So for example, you need to calculate the revenue or you need to calculate certain specific calculations that are needed as it relates to the line of business and this means that the general calculations that you need to do may vary may or may not actually vary but sometimes they do vary if you do not have domain knowledge as to how to go about selecting what fields is needed for this calculation or select or knowing what what columns of values are needed to carry out this report it literally makes your analysis not effective so what that means is that domain knowledge actually helps you analyze your report properly and effectively. So in a nutshell, having accurate domain knowledge as to how to work on certain related projects will help you effectively analyze your report and even gather the data relevant or needed for a data analytics report that you want to carry out. Right. These and many other reasons are the reasons why I believe domain knowledge is really needed for any career looking to explore as a data analyst. And also, as I earlier mentioned, you can actually leverage on domain knowledge to switch career path. So with your um, Python skills that you do have, your SQL skills that you do have, with an extra topping of domain knowledge on it, you're literally able to also apply this to switching into any career path. So now question is, how do I actually get or improve myself or gain knowledge in whatever industry I'm looking to go into? For example, I would always talk about the finance space because I feel and I believe that it has like that's literally every knowledge being gained in the finance field can be applied to most other space. For example, when we into the finance space, start by understanding the different um the different data that is being gathered or churned in this space. If also you want to go into um, education, for example, understand what the education landscape is like. Most times you see that most of these companies do have a product that they are offering to their customers, right? It means that ultimately most of the data that are being collected is actually based on the product. So it could be like an edtech firm, it could be a fintech firm that's selling their products or their services to other clients or customers. So you can explore these different unique niche and understand the different data that place within this space, gain accurate knowledge as to how you can also use this in probably make carrying out a lot analysis. So for example, I could give you a typical example in the fintech space. In the fintech space, you're literally um, taxed with um, transactions of your customers, right? You want to understand customers' behavior as well too, right? You want to understand how how recurring their transaction is your top performing customers you also want to look for ways to also improve um the product to your customers so based on sentiment analysis these are many ways you can apply your domain knowledge in carrying out analysis that would help improve the product effectively and also read as well to write to gain relevant knowledge as it relates to each of these unique different business industries you may also want to experience this one way you can actually do this is by volunteering right volunteer to different industries the reason for volunteering is for you to pretty much understand where your interest would lie in i for one i don't see myself working in the healthcare space because i do not like it for so many reasons right if you could explore spaces like the transportation industry you could explore the education industry and have the finance space as well too. Even in the mobile industry, the gaming industry, that's a very interesting space that I'm literally interested and fascinated in as a personal interest for me. So you can actually volunteer to any of these different industries and see and understand the different data that are being used. By so doing, you can always understand what makes up the different business decisions they actually do carry out based on data they do have whether based on consumer behaviors, based on their customers, based on what their clients or stakeholders want. So these are ways you can actually gather domain knowledge by volunteering. Sometimes these volunteering services may not be paid, but because of the skill you want to gather, it could be an advantage to you. I highly do recommend you volunteering if you really want to gain this domain expertise. So another way you can actually gain domain knowledge is by establishing good relationship with domain experts as well too. 
so i'm going to give you another very interesting um scenario so while i was searching for a job as a data analyst definitely some companies would give you take home assignments to do and this was my first time and funny enough funny enough most of take home assignments i did have were in the finance space literally right or the companies that i was which i was applying to was in the finance space and this is because i think that's where most of my interest was at the time so i applied to a credit scoring company and i had to do something called a cohort analysis for the first time and carry out other calculations that were very finance driven and gladly for me or thankfully for me i had someone a family friend who literally walked me through how to go about analyzing the data so yes the project was to either be done with python or excel i knew how to figure it out using python or excel because i did have the data but i did what calculation was to go into it to get the right output for it so you can literally leverage on your peers or domain experts in different fields so that's one way I was able to solve that project and give an accurate answer when I was done with the take home assignment. So yes, I would say actually leverage on domain experts in your networks. So in summary, having a balance in technical knowledge and also domain knowledge is key to a successful career. So most companies that do hire, if you've noticed, sometimes they always have um, something called a preferred, a preferred skill or preferred qualifications as well as required qualifications. And sometimes you see them list you having experience in working in financial data sets or have working experience in agricultural, agriculture space. Now, this is because in the data analyst role, you'll be predicting trends and patterns and individuals who are hired to work on these trends or even carry out um, analysis based on this to give recommendations is actually a very good advantage for you as a person to have domain knowledge as relates to the job or to the industry space you're exploring. So now people in these roles might not need specific technical skills, but they should have an overall knowledge of the business as it also relates to your role as a data analyst because they'll be giving out recommendations based on your analysis as a data analyst. So thank you so much guys for watching. I believe I was able to touch one or two things needed for you as a newbie looking to explore this space or to come into this space as a data analyst. Please, if you do have any other recommended topic you would want me to talk about, please ensure to put it down in the comments and i'll also love to know what your take is right i would love to understand so what do you think do you think domain knowledge trumps technical skills or do you think technical skills trump domain knowledge please drop it down in the comment section and let's go on with the conversation in there and sure to also like subscribe and also ring the notification bell so that you have you know when i do upload a new video Thank you so much guys for watching and have a productive day ahead. Bye.